everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope that everyone is staying safe and sound in this pandemic. And I hope that everyone is ready to learn something new today. But first, if you like what you see, give me a big thumbs up. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Hit that bell notification so you know my videos come out. Generally between 3 and 4. This is a family friendly channel so anyone can watch. And please do me a favor and subscribe to my channel. It makes me feel that you appreciate what I'm doing. Plus, anyone who subscribes to my channel and comments will be entered into a drawing to win $20 when I, win, when I get to 200 subscribers. So, you know, I'm almost at 165 now, so let's see if we can get it done before the end of the summer. I'll be going back to school in September teaching, so I may not have that much time for YouTube, so I want to try to get it done now. Okay, so... <clears throat> Today is Wellness Wednesday, okay, and because this month is Minority Mental Health Awareness Month, okay, I, would, I thought I would do something related to depression. Now, before I get into this video, remember, I'm not a doctor, nor do I play one on TV, so use this stuff at your own risk, but a lot of this stuff, you don't need a doctor to tell you. 10 Natural Depression Treatments okay. Being depressed can make you feel helpless. You're not. Along with therapy and sometimes medication, there's a lot you can do on your own to fight back. Changing your behavior, your physical activity, lifestyle, and even way of thinking are all natural depression treatments. See? These tips can help you feel better, starting right now. Get in a routine. If you're depressed, you need a routine says Ian Cook, MD. He's a psychiatrist and director of the Depression Research and Clinic Program at UCLA. Depression can strip away the structure from your life. One day melts into the next. Settling a general daily schedule can help you get back on track. So even though I'm not currently working at school, I still have a normal routine. I get up around the same time every day. You know, I eat the same foods that I ate before, only less. So I'm basically, I keep myself in, um, in a routine, okay? Especially with YouTube, I do same time every day to keep myself in a routine. So at least I have things to do to keep me from getting depressed, okay? Set goals. When you're depressed, you may feel like you can't accomplish anything. That makes you feel worse about yourself. To push back, set daily goals for yourself. Start very small, Cook says. Make your goals something that you can succeed at, like doing the dishes every other day. I do the dishes every day, so. And you start to feel better. You can add more challenging daily goals. So like I said, I have goals with my YouTube, you know, certain amount of views, certain amount of subscribers. But, you know, I don't turn around and say, okay, I want 100,000 views by next week. That's not a, you know, a goal that's easy to achieve. It can happen, but not that quickly. That's why I, you know, I'm, I'm starting with 200 subscribers. That's my, my next goal. You know, my first goal was to reach 20,000 views, which I got. My second goal was to reach 5,000 views on my number one video, which I did. Okay, my third goal was to reach more than 1,000 uh, viewing hours, which I did. So my fourth goal, which is to reach 200 subscribers, uh, I'm currently working at that. So, so far I've achieved three out of my four goals. So that's not bad. Exercise. It temporarily boosts feel-good chemicals called endorphins. It may also have long-term benefits for people with depression. Regular exercise seems to encourage the brain to, to renew itself in positive ways, Cook says. How much exercise do you need? You don't need to run marathons to get a benefit. Just walking a few times a week can help. So I, I try to, you know, do a little walking, a little stuff here and there. I haven't been able to do much exercise because the gym has been closed due to the pandemic. But they're just starting to reopen now. So I'm going to start going to the gym every day for about an hour or so. I went the other day just to check it out. Still needs a little work. But I say by the end of this week it should be fine. Eat healthy. There is no magic diet that fixes depression. It's a good idea to watch what you eat, though. Mm -hmm. 
If depression tends to make you overeat, getting in control of your eating will help you feel better. So I try to watch what I eat. In fact, I'm one of the very few I know of that has lost weight during the pandemic. Most people gain weight. I try to watch what I eat. Although nothing is definitive, Cook says there's evidence that food with omega-3 fatty acids such as salmon and tuna and folic acids such as spinach and avocado could help ease depression. I can't eat tuna, I can't eat salmon. I can eat tuna if it's in water, so I do eat that. And I love spinach, so I do get enough fatty acids and uh, folic acid. Get enough sleep. Depression can make it hard to get enough shut eye, and too little sleep can make depression worse. What can you do? Start by making some changes to your lifestyle. Go to bed and get up at the same time every day. That's what I do. I go to bed about a, between 10 and 11 every day, and I get up around 9 o'clock every single day. Try not to nap, which I don't. Take all the distractions out of your bedroom. No computer, no TV. In time, you may find your sleep improves. I haven't had problems sleeping. I mean, occasionally I will, but 90% of the time I don't. Take on responsibilities. When you're depressed, you may want to pull back from life and give up your responsibilities at home and at work. Don't. Staying involved and having daily responsibilities can help you maintain a lifestyle that can help counter depression. They ground you and give you a sense of accomplishments. So, like, because my wife is working and I stay home, you know, some days I do uh, vacuuming, some days I'll clean the living room, one day I'll clean the bathroom, one day I'll clean the kitchen. I don't do everything in one day. Doing everything in one day is crazy. You know, I, I'm, you know, my wife sometimes complains, you know, why can't, I say, I don't need to do, do little here, little there, it's better. So I have something to do every day. If you're not up to full-time school or work, that's fine. Think about part-time. If that seems like too much, consider volunteer work. Challenge negative thoughts. In your fight against depression, a lot of the work is mental changing how you think. When you're depressed, you leap to the worst possible conclusions. I tend to do that occasionally, but I'm more of an optimist. So I always look at the, the silver lining in the cloud. You know, if something bad happens, there's something better to come. The next time you're feeling terrible about yourself, use logic as a natural depression treatment, which I use all the time, not logic. You might feel like no one likes you, but is there real evidence for that? You might feel like the most worthless person on the planet, but is that really likely? It takes practice, but in time you can beat back those negative thoughts before they get out of control. Okay. Check your doctor before using supplements. The only supplement that I take is a vitamin D because my doctor recommended it. Other than that, I don't take any supplements. There's promising evidence for certain supplements for depression, Cook says. Those include fish oil, folic acid, and SAMe. But more research needs to be done before we'll know for sure. Always check your doctor before starting any supplement, especially if you're already taking medications. I don't suggest taking supplements. You should be able to get everything you need from a proper diet. Do something new. When you're depressed, you're in a rut. Put yourself to do something different. Go to a museum, pick up a used book and read it on a park bench, volunteer at a soup kitchen, take a language class. When we challenge ourselves to do something different, there are chemical changes in the brain, Cook says. Trying something new alters the level of the brain's chemical dopamine, which is associated with pleasure, enjoyment, and learning. Try to have fun. If you're depressed, make time for things you enjoy. What if nothing seems fun anymore? That's just a symptom of depression, Cook says. You have to keep trying anyway. So, one of the reasons why I created YouTube, which I said before, was, you know, I felt like I needed to give back to the community, and by me doing the videos, it was my way of giving back to the community, you know, um, helping people out, teaching them something new, because I'm a teacher, so that's just in my nature. Another thing was to give me something to do, you know. You cannot just put up a video and that's it. No, you need to do research first, you know, then you need to do the video and you need to edit it, you need to uh, use thumbnails and all that stuff. So, you know, there's a little bit into it than just taking a camera and that's it. So that gives me something to do, you know, and then, um, I don't know if you notice that I'm wearing a armband around my, my arm. 
I went to give blood today. So I try to give blood every six months, you know, because it's helping out people that need blood transfusions or something like that. And it gives me something to do. So, I mean, that's, that's an idea, you know. I try to keep myself, you know, I go to church every Sunday, you know, on Saturdays I have things to do. Monday through Friday I always have something to do either in the house or with YouTube. So, you know, it's, it's good to give yourself something to do. It kind of makes you, you know, if you're sitting around doing nothing, that's when you get depressed. You know, people say, you've been home for a year, how come you're not depressed? And I tell them, honestly. You know, if I didn't have anything to do, I would be depressed. I would be going nuts, probably. But no, that's one of the reasons why I started YouTube. It gives me something to do, you know, and it, I enjoy it, you know, especially when, when I have people that, give, which, you know, uh, leave good comments and people, when people subscribe, oh, that's the greatest feeling in the world. There's nothing greater than that. It shows that people like and appreciate what I'm doing. So... Do me that favor, you know, and subscribe to my channel and, you know, show that you appreciate what I'm doing. And, you know, that's one of the greatest feelings there is, knowing that people appreciate what you're doing. So please do that. You know, please like. Please comment. You know, leave me a comment. Say hi, whatever you want to do. You know, and like I said, I do my videos every day around between 3 and 4 during the week. On the weekends, sometimes I'll do a video, sometimes I don't. Depends on whether I have time. But other than that, you know, give yourself something to do. And please, if you're available, go out and give blood. You know, they're in desperate need of blood right now. Um, I went to near my place, Railroad Road, which is not that far from me, and I gave blood. It took me 30 minutes, maybe, tops. Okay. I will be doing a video tomorrow on food. Don't know yet. All depends on what my wife cooks. If she doesn't cook something, then I'll have to do something different with food. But generally, I keep food. Like I said, I have a routine. On Mondays, it's Mets Monday, I do a Mets video. Tuesday, I always do food. Wednesday, I always do wellness. Thursday, generally, I do food. Friday is open. So Friday, I do different things. But like I said, I keep a routine, and that's... The best thing to do to keep yourself from thinking too much. And that's when you get depressed, when you think too much. Okay. Stay safe. And I will see you tomorrow.